Hey everyone, Jonathan Silva here with another video looking at some basics working with SharePoint. Today's video, what we're gonna focus on is utilizing some of the not so used often features here within SharePoint, some alerts that we can have automatically set up within our site. So let's jump right into our SharePoint site and take a look at how we can start utilizing some alerts right away. All right, so here is my SharePoint site that I want to work with, and I'm really focused on our document library. Really here in this document library, what I'd like to be able to do is when I come on over to it, I can see I have a few documents. But what I'd really like in here is to be able to get some type of notification, some type of alert every single time a new document is added to this library. And I want that all built here inside of SharePoint. Yes, we could utilize Power Automate for this. Yes, we could utilize some other things, but I wanna just see how SharePoint can handle that for me. So in order to do this, we're gonna move on over here inside of our document library, and this one's just our general documents, and select the three dots, these ellipses you see in the far right corner. Once you click on that, you can see, there it is, alert me. If you select alert me, it's gonna take you to our next window here that's gonna allow you to manage the alerts that are now added in for this document library. All right, so what we're gonna do is as we take a look in, we can start by looking at the alert title. Right here, it is just simply called documents because that's the name of our library here, but we can call this whatever we like if we wanted to add it in. We can then choose who to send alerts to. By default, it's gonna be sending it to me because I am the owner of this site, but you can enter in more people if you want. In fact, I can even send it to, if I type in training, you can choose even groups here if you like as well. Okay, so there are some options that you could work with here for specific people or a group if you wanted to. The delivery method is the next step. Now here in the delivery method, you can decide, okay, well, um, how am I sending these alerts? I'm gonna send it to my email. Do I wanna send it via text? Do I wanna have a URL and text messages to click on to come to this library? How do you want that to be organized? I'm gonna keep the, this the way it is because I like the email option. And then this here, the change type is really one of the big steps that you need to, to decide. For the change types, do you only want alerts for specific actions or not. Now, if this is a very widely used site, pretty popular throughout the organization or the team that you have, you might not want to have an alert every single time something happens. So maybe not for all changes. Maybe you just want it for when new items are added. So you can, you can filter it down for those. And then you can come down here and say, send alerts for these changes. Okay, now this is where you can say, all right, for these, these are the changes, new items. Now, when or how often essentially is that going to occur? You can say when anything changes or when someone else changes a document. This is again, we are choosing new items here. So these are not quite something we're gonna have to worry about, but you have some of these options in here if you wanna make those designations. Maybe it's by other people, then it's not you, right? If you're the kind of the, the manager level of this uh, SharePoint site. And then finally, the last option we have here at the bottom is when to send the alerts. So do you want that notification to go immediately on the actual action itself? So when it goes out, give me that immediate notification that in this case, a new item was added. Or do you want it to be a daily or weekly summary? Now for like a daily summary here, you're just picking a time, when should that go out? For a weekly summary, you can decide, all right, once a week, I want this to go out maybe every Thursday uh, afternoon, I want this to go out to see all the new updates um, from this past weekend, from the previous Friday, or whatever it might be, or you can make those designations here. No matter what you choose, all you need to do in the end when you set up these alerts is simply click OK. And when that goes out, mine send is send this notification immediately, I should get an email immediately when a new item is added in here to this document library. So to test that out, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop in a new document here. This is just a Word document that I'm uploading in here. There it goes. It's now added in. And I should be getting an email any moment now letting me know that there was a new document added into 
this library. Now, when you first create an alert, what you're gonna get via email is an informational here of, hey, alerts have been added to that specific type. Depending upon what type of name of the alert you have, there it goes, documents has been successfully added, and it lets you know right away that there's your information. And then if it comes in, you'll see right after I had that follow up real quickly, there is my alert document. There's a new document's been added to the SharePoint site. That is the alert that I'm getting. And we're now able to just go ahead and understand when that happens. Now, again, if we're doing this and we're going big picture on this, we're probably wanting to go ahead and make sure that, you know, if it's a, it's a very widely used site that we don't go every day, maybe we, or every time it even shows up, maybe it's once a week. We'll do that bulk at the end of the week, right before we leave, just to get all that information. Or maybe you do it on the Monday morning and have everything come back when you first enter the office from there. Thanks for joining me here once again, working with SharePoint and getting some of the basics that we have utilizing our SharePoint site and some of the cool little add-ins add and additional pieces we can have for our site. Stay tuned for more videos coming up here in the future for myself and all of us here at Pragmatic Works.